Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ma'am Rowena. Good afternoon, Sir Ernie. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Welcome to, to the 25th Commencement, Commencement Exercises of, of the Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated. Incorporated. I am Ernie D. Carido, Dean Office of the Student Affairs. My name is Rowena M. Cabrera, Senior High School and College Faculty. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now witness the processional of the Administrative Officers of the Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated. Beginning with the faculty and staff of college, followed by the department heads and academic deans, the executive vice president and the college president and chief executive officer. For the graduate's prayer, we have Patricia N. Donato, Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy. Dear Father, we come before you as the ceremony begins. Be with us as we march into new life and bittersweet farewell to our professors, instructors, and friends. Adorned with this cup and flowing gown that we now wear, we pray that whatever our future takes us, we will always find you there. We will now step into the aisle as we hear them call out our names. Escort us to the podium that looms before us, Lord, so that when we receive our diplomas, we will have our confidence because you are there. Thank you, God, for bringing us this far. You are really the author and finisher of our faith. We pray that you will continue to lead our ways as we venture out in search for our own star. We ask all these things in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us sing the national anthem with pride and honor. Sa langit po 
Ladies and gentlemen, the entrance of College Mace. The College Mace will be brought in front by Mrs. Azucena C. Sabado, our Executive Vice President and College Registrar. Graduation marks a major milestone in life, a time to celebrate accomplishments and transition to another phase. It is the culmination of a person's perseverance towards higher learning. Finally, one can now have a sigh of relief aside from an enormous feeling of accomplishments. You are here because you believe you could, and you did. It wasn't in fact a sudden and swift act of achievement, but a gradual but consistent effort to go through immersions, clinical rotations or OGTs, as well as rigorous and tedious academic classes, comprehensive exams, and oral defense in various academic disciplines. Today, your efforts have paid off. You have finally achieved what you set out to do when you first entered the portals of the Philippine College of Health Sciences. Today is a milestone in everyone's lives as we celebrate the culmination of Dodge's perseverance, dedication, and focus in the pursuit of world-class professionalism. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, may we call on stage Jaime A. Cordero, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, for the address of petition. To our esteemed guest of honor and keynote speaker, to our ever caring and committed first hand president and chief executive officer of the Philippine College of Health Sciences, Inc., Dr. George Cordero, equally dynamic and approachable administrative officials and academic deans, to the backbone and the ever dedicated faculty and staff of the college, beloved parents, guests, my fellow graduates, a pleasant afternoon to all. Time flies so fast as if it was only yesterday when we sit our folk friends into the portals of our alma mater, the Philippine College of Health Sciences, Inc. I can see you fellow graduates beaming with smile and pride, for at last our goal to finish our course is almost in our hands. But the road was not that easy. Trials, tribulations were always at the forefront of our struggles. But with God on our side, and with the people who are there to guide us, we came up victorious. We thank the administrators, faculty members, and staff of the college who shared their life and love. May we learn from their dedication and commitment to selfless service to mankind that we may turn serve others without counting the cost. We also thank our loved ones who have shared the time and efforts for us to be where we are now. Let us value their sacrifices for without them, our struggles would have been more difficult and unbearable. Mr. President, and to our beloved deans, on behalf of the graduating class of 2019, may I therefore petition so that we can fully say to ourselves that indeed we deserve to be an alumnus and alumna of PCHS. To my fellow graduates, I then urge each one of us to do our role as we bring the PCHS light to the world. Thank you and God bless us all. To present academic title and degree, may we call on the deans of the different colleges, after which Dr. George C. Cordero, the president and CEO of PCHS, will confer the academic titles and degrees to our candidates for graduation. Our beloved president and CEO of the Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you the 100 courses graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Criminology who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Criminology set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. To our beloved President and CEO of Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporation, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you 
the two graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Education, who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Education set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. Of the Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you the 67 graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, also known as Medical Laboratory Science, who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Medical Technology set forth by the Commission of Higher Education. To our beloved President and Chief Executive Officer of Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you the 24 graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science University who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Nursing set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. To our beloved President and CEO of Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you the 67 graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, who successfully completed all the requirements of the college pharmacy set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. Beloved President and CEO of Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you the other graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy, who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Physical Therapy set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. To our beloved President and CEO of Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, Dr. George C. Cordero, it is my great honor to present to you the graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Radiologic Technology set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. President, it is my great honor to present to you the 132 graduates of Master of Art in Education, 24 for the graduate of Master of Arts in Nursing, 25 for the graduate of Master of Public Administration, and 40 for the Doctor of Education. 25 for the graduate of Doctor in Philosophy with a total number of 246 graduates who successfully completed all the requirements of the College of Graduate School set forth by the Commission on Higher Education. By virtue of the power and authority vested on me, by the Republic of the Philippines through the Commission on Higher Education and as a President and Chief Executive Officer, I hereby confer to you your degrees. And to name Bachelor of Science in Criminology, you have there 49 candidates. Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, 1. Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, 55. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, 25. Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, 34. Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy, 30. Bachelor of Science in Psychology, 2. Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology, 33. Master of Arts in Education, 130. Master of Arts in Nursing, 24. Masters in Public Administration, 23. Doctor of Education, 39, and Doctor of Philosophy, 24. 
my graduates, congratulations. May you now turn your tassels to the right. Congratulations and welcome to the world of a world-class professionals. Congratulations, graduates. Yes, it's finally over. The classes, the exams, the reports, the rush for enrollment and for paying the fees. Everyone can now have a sigh of relief. Graduation never fails to move anyone and is the most memorable moment in a student's life. It is not only to their graduate that a commencement exercise or a graduation is significant. It is also a time for great joy for their mentors, the faculty members, for they are their prodigies who will soon become their colleagues. To our graduates, may you continue to soar higher. May the flames of PCHS continue to burn in your hearts. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, may we now listen to the inspirational message of the President and Chief Executive Officer of the College, the man who envisioned his graduates to become world-class professionals, the first PNA male president, and the first Filipino nurse to become a board of director of the International Council of Nurses. Dr. George C. Cordero. I could see all your faces. Masaya kayo ngayon. Lalong-lalo ng inyong mga magulang na nagmamahal at minamahal to witness this achievement. So dyan sa graduate school, wala nang umiiyak. Kung pinahirapan ko kayo na nag-uli, hindi para sa akin yun. Hindi nyo dapat iyakan yun. Yun. Pinagihirapan yun. Kaya nga kayo natawag na Doctors and masters, just to test your capability, your mastery with the program. So, hindi na kayo miyak ngayon, hindi dito kuna kayo ngayon. And maybe in one day, some of you aspire so much, ambitious like me. To the graduates, I always say, mahirap ang maging mahirap. I always say this because I had experience in my life and I'm lucky I'm at the top anin kami magkakapatid ilan lang kami nakatapos tatlo lang kami natapos dahil yung tatlo nag-asawa na hindi natapos so sa mga graduates your parents deserve to be given a big big applause and to the parents it's high time. Please naman, give them a big, big applause of those. Yung mga pinaghirapan ninyo, give them a big, big applause. So, eto na. Gagraduate na kayo ngayon. Nakagraduate na kayo ngayon. Hindi ibig sabihin na porte kayo graduate, assured na kayo sa lahat. Yes, you are assured, no? By this wonderful world. Hindi dito lahat ang pag-asa sa mundong ito. Pero, Ang pag-asa na yan ay nasa sa inyong kamay. Huwag niyong asahan yung kapatid ninyo, yung mga kamag-anak ninyo na tutulungan kayo. Kung kayo tutulungan, hindi lahat ng panahon ay tinutulungan kayo. Nasa inyong kamay ang pag-asa. Huwag niyong iasa sa gobyerno dahil ang gobyerno hanggang ngayon, kung titignan ninyo, Wala pa rin pagbabago ang Pilipinas. When I graduated in 1978, it is still the same up to this time. I tried so hard to make my own way. How to strive, how to make a living. Ang ambition ko, pumunta ng Amerika, lahat din kayo, ganun, for sure. Pagka-graduate, mag a -abroad. Yun yun. Huwag niyong sabihin na hindi yun ang plano ninyo. Kapag ang estudyante kumuha ng nursing, for sure yan. Kapag ang estudyante kumuha ng radtech, at lahat kayo, maski matanda na. Meron pa rin kami naging estudyante na 62 years old, a doctor from the Makati Medical Center. An anesthesiologist taking up nursing. Tanong ko sa kanya, Doktora, you have all the opportunities dito sa Pilipinas. Establish kayo na anesthesiologist. Mayaman na kayo. Bakit pa 
ikaw ay kumukuha ng nursing. Sagot na sa akin, Dok, sabi niya, ang anak ko, nurse, nandun sa Amerika. May petition siya sa akin, kukunin niya ako doon. Eh wala akong gagawin, gusto ko rin maging nurse doon. Yun. So lahat tayo, nag-aasam at umaasam-asam na lahat pumunta ng Amerika. For sure, ang mga magulang, opportunities yan, maski matanda na tayo. Pero kung akong tatanungin ninyo, America is a hell place for me. Imagine you have to travel 11,000 kilometers from the Philippines, you will be cross. You will be crossing the Pacific Ocean. What if nangyari, mag-crash yung aeroplano? Narating ko ang Amerika, hindi rin ako pinalad doon. Umuwi ako. Ito, nandito pa rin ako. Nakita ko, ang Pilipinas ay para kay Cordero. Para sa akin yun. I am that so lucky. I tell you, naikot ko ang mundo. When I became a director of the International Council of Nurses, take note, I am the only Filipino, the first to sit in the United Nations of the International Council of Nurses. Imagine there, minaharap ko yun. Nurses around the world, ganito pa, pala kaya. Sikat din ako doon. Especially when I nung tinatel ko yung issue ng exploitation. Imagine, the 4,800 delegates nagtayuan at kumapalakpak. Doon ko na-realize na napakaganda pala ang pangako ng mundo. Wala mang pera, pero yung saya na nakilala ko sa buong mundo, yun ang kayamanan ko na hanggang ngayon tinadala ko. Kaya kayo, pantayan ninyo yung narating ko. Naging presidente ako ng Philippine Nurses Association. Wala mang pera doon. Pero yung satisfaction ng isang professional na nurse na katulad ko, hindi mo kayang pantayan ng pera. Nandudun din ang ups and down. Kayo din, for sure. Graduation is not the end. But that is still the beginning of the battle. How to live professionally in this world. Naging presidente ako limang taon. Naging governor ako ng Philippine Nurses Association siyam na taon. Maraming nabago sa mga nurses nung ako ay naging presidente. At marami rin nagalit sa akin. Sabihin ko sa inyo yan. Lahat ng profesyon, nandu doon ang kanibalism. Ang mga opisyales ng mga big organizations, yan yan. Meron din corruption doon, ng parang tidak. Yan yan. May pera doon, milyon-milyon ang pera pagdating sa mga organisasyon, lalong-lalo na sa nurses, mga teachers. Milyon-milyon ang pera doon. Doon mo makikita kung paano, last pagin, lost tayin ng mga board of directors ang pera ng asosasyon. Yan yan. Travel first class, travel around the world. Pero nung ako naging presidente, hindi ko pinakialaman ni Sinti mo ang pera ng organisasyon na yan. Sarili kong pera ang aking ginasto. Ganon din doon, sa International Council of Nurses, they gave me $5,000 transportation, they gave me fair dime. They will let me stay in a five-star hotel travel first class in the airplane. Naranasan ko lahat yun. Yun, hindi ako nagpo first class kung ako ay may kasama. Wini-withdraw ko yun para makapagdala ko ng mga delegates doon sa Switzerland pagdating sa World Congress. Lahat yan ng mga faculty ko yan. Iniisa-isa ko silang lahat. At hanggang ngayon, maski gaano kahirap ang eskulahan, yun, Nagagawa pa rin namin magdala ng mga faculty namin just to renew the current trends. 
So lahat ng mga makabago nandiyan sa atin pagdating sa teaching. Lahat ng mga teachers ninyo, lahat yan master's doctorate. Walang ganun na eskwelahan dito sa Pilipinas. It's only at the Philippine College of Health Sciences. Sa nurses, when I said the curriculum is defective, that was way back in 1998 when I first comment, the curriculum is defective. Ngayon, dinago nila. You can change the curriculum, but not necessarily you are going to change the total title of the subject. Ang ginawa nila, pati subject, kaya ang Amerika, ang NCLEX people, nahihilo din sa pag-i-evaluate ng records ng mga nurses pagdating sa mga kukuha ng NCLEX. Simple yun. Go back. Ang, ang advice ko yan, simple. You go back to the old curriculum. Sundin ninyo kung ano yung nandudun sa evaluation tool ng NCLEX. Yun ang kurikulum ng Amerika. Pero hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin. Bakit ang isang nurse kung pumunta sa Amerika ay mag-aaral ng isang taon? Yun, nangyari na ang aking mga nakikita noon pa na ang kurikulum ng Pilipinas pagdating sa nursing ay palpak. Hanggang ngayon, I'm not check still stopping when it comes to the Philippine nurses curriculum because when I was a director, I was already informed by the international community of nurses, the regulators. The regulators is under. The international regulatory board of nursing is under the international council of nurses. I work with them, we work with them. We evaluate. We do policies and standards internationally. Pero hanggang ngayon dito sa Pilipinas, ayaw pa rin sumunod ang dapat gawin. Na hanggang ngayon, still, no? palpak pa rin ang kurikulum natin. Pero with the PCHS, hindi namin sinusunod ang kurikulum ng Commission on Higher Education. We improve. Yan, pati doktor, bakit mo pagbabawalan yung isang doktor na kumuha ang nurse? Eh, karapatan yan ng isang tao. The moment a child is born, it is his right and everybody's right to be educated. Yun yun. So, kayo, you are soon to take the board exams after this graduation. When you go to a review center, when you prepare for the board examination, maraming sindikato dyan. Sasabihin nila, magbayad ka ng ganito, kung papasa ka, i-re-refund yung pera mo. I tell you, can you see the logic there? No? Bibigyan ka ng katakot-takot na orientation, ganitong gawin mo, ganitong gawin mo. When actually, they're only going to keep your money and refund it when you pass it at your own. In my 30 years of operation in the review center, not one, nahiningan ko ng pera. Kaya I can see them face to face. Maharap ako. Wala akong kinakatakutan. Wala akong niloko. Kung umaman man ako, pinaghirapan ko yun. Wala akong nilokong tao. Maharap ako mismo. I am not a sitting president. I am a working president. So, graduates, prepare the board examination and I want to hear that you pass at your own. Ayaw kong marinig. Nasasabihin ninyo, doon ka mag-review. Nagbayad ako ng 30 mil, 50 mil doon. Sigurado papasaka. Ayaw kong marinig niyan sa inyo. Okay? So please, to pass the board examination, study and study and study. Review and review and review. That's the only way. Once you pass the board examination, try to scout for a job. Huwag kayong agad mag- uh, magplano punta ng Amerika. Dahil doon, kinakailangan, bago ka pumunta doon, you must first train yourself here before going to America. Magtira muna kayo dito ng mga limang taon bago kayo pumunta doon. Mag-experience muna kayo dito bago kayo pumunta ng ibang lugar. Dahil, pag na, pagdating nyo doon sa isang lugar na yan, hindi nyo alam ang traumatic experience na mararamdaman ninyo kapag kayo nandudun na. Yun lang ang maiya advice ko sa inyo. Maraming pera dito sa Pilipinas kung marunong kayo. Kaban-kaban yan. Common sense. Hindi kailangan na magdepende kayo dyan sa profession ninyo. Like me. Paranasan ko maging mahirap. Nung ako'y umaman, nung ako'y mahirap, walang nagre-regalo. 
Walang nakakakilala sa akin. Walang nakakakilala sa amin. Sana nung ako'y naghihirap, sana doon sila nagregalo. Learn to be honest. Even if others will not. And even if others cannot. Kung ano yung tama, yun lang ang gagawin ninyo. Huwag kayong abusado. Yun lang Hanggang dito na lang ang masasabi ko sa inyo. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Sa mga magulang na katulad ko, sigurado nararamdaman din ninyo kung ano yung nararamdaman ko. Nararamdaman ko kung ano yung nararamdaman ninyo. Gusto nyong makatapos ang inyong anak. Ito kayo. Nandito na sila. Pero, may mga katanungan pa rin ako sa inyo. Kayo ba ay mga magulang? No? Ito, this is the philosophy of responsibility na parati kong natanong. Kayo ba yung mga mga gulang, ginampanan ba ninyo ang inyong responsibilidad bilang isang magulang? Some of you, ipinagkatiwala na lang yung anak ninyo sa eskwelahan. Abahala na yan, mag-graduate o hindi. Abahala na yung kumag-anak, mag-bayad o hindi. I tell you, with you, kung kami naghigpit, I have to close my eyes this time. Marami kaming hindi pinagraduate na may utang. Yeah, imagine. Every examination, may utang. Bakit? Yeah, kasi yung kapatid ko, hala, pag kami lumapit firma, when I tried to investigate and look at the records, yun, Mrs. Sabado, lahat ang nakapirma doon. Pagka nag-usap kami, eh, alam mo, sabi niya, kapatid, Mahirap ang mga yan eh. Huwag lang tayo tumingin sa pera. Totoo yun. Pero hindi namin pwedeng utangin ang sweldo ng mga personals. The cost of the operation no? and the administrative is so expensive. Yun yan. O, oh, pangalawa, sa mga tiya, nagtuturo, yan ang pananba ninyo yung responsibilidad ninyo bilang isang magtuturo ng Philippine College of Health Sciences o pinagsamantalaan nyo sila. Hindi ako nakikialam pagdating sa deliberation when it comes to academic, even in financial. I let them do and submit it to me. Ganun yun. Oh. At kayo mga graduate, yun, tanungin ninyo ngayon ang sarili ninyo. Ginampanan ba ninyo ang inyong responsibilidad bilang estudyante? Maswerte kayo. Nandiyan si Dr. Cordero, napakabait. Meron din mga magulang dyan na, oh, bahala ka na sa anak ko, Dr. Cordero. Anong gagawin ko sa anak mo? So that's all sa mga magulang. Again, and to you graduates, congratulations to each and every. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cordero. You have really inspired our graduates. In our quest for education and to improve life, we study and get our degree. In this journey, exemplary students emerge and lead the path. Indeed, that's true. While everybody here are achievers, there are those who excel above the rest. The creme de la creme, either of academic excellence or of leadership or service excellence. Han Clara M.I., Clinical Excellence Awardee, General Weighted Average 1.8, Batch 2019. Fadrilan Maria Angelina, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2019. Espejo Austin Joya C, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2021. Espejo Aldus Joshua C, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2021. Damasco Alexis V, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2020. Mendoza Mary Faustin T, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2020. Cachuela Christine Andrian B, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2021. Lorenzo Danzel Ann O, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2021. Ms. Patricia Donato, Best Clinical Intern, Batch 2020. Ms. Giselle Ordanza, Best Clinical Intern, Batch 2020. Caredo Maria Nena Teresa R. Leadership Awardee, Batch 2021. Sandoval John Ernest Guillier, 
Leadership Awardee, Batch 2021. Kabading Bea Mayan T, Most Proficient Intern, San Lazaro Hospital, Batch 2019. Makapagal Mary Joyce R, Academic Excellence Awardee, Batch 2020. Ortiz Vance Christian Y, Leadership Awardee, Batch 2020. Congratulations to all our awardees. And now, the much-awaited part of the program, the distribution of diplomas to our graduates and a position of hood on doctorate and masterate graduates to be led by Dr. George C. Cordero, to be assisted by Ma'am Asusena C. Sabado, our Executive Vice President and our College Registrar, and Dr. Fe Espinosa, the Dean of the Graduate School. Abendaño Mark Ian D. Alpahora Lovely Jane C. Arsenas Brandon A. Ardales Maynard Cedric C. Armada Joshua Angelo. Apron Larry Boy T. Balungaya J. Mar D. Barayuga Christine Joy M. Barreto Joanna Bren. Bernardino Carl Angelo A. Blas RZP, Abelin Dither John P, Capuno Jose Calmelo E, Caranto Leomar B, Kayanan John Paul B, Coquilla Crisil R, Cueto Carl Michael P, Cruz Gabriel Luigi W, Cuyos Junior Pelario R, De Los Santos Roland S. Delphine Jerome D. Diaz John Luis E. Deacon John Renzo S. Dizon Cesar the Third Q. Duque Mark Angelo M. Isma Mark David Y. Fason Rudolph Alexis S. Dakutan Antolin M. Gangat Dominic. Gernale Raymark C. Gualodin Ismael S. Legaspi Billy Ray P. Makaraeg Robin Red C. Mahinay Jever Jr. A. Messina Hermes D. Nadua Carlos John C. Paras Byron Ivan A. Pascual Alan Raymond A. Paulo Jomar Nicole B. Ramilio Ron Jr. P. Razon Gerald Rimandaban Edison Resilva Martin S Rodelias Rani B Salarda John Christian J Santos Angeline A Santos Fritz Earl A Sulit Prince Joseph D Walikan Charles Louis A Alim Agreen Janine Field Delphine Marjorie M. Lopez Ayla O. Abul Kalam Faiza Mohamed Alegre Mark Carlo M. Alvarez Gemaline Austria Charlene B. Bakulo Kim Jefferson C. Bawalan Jean Nicole C. Baisa Brian. Bunanig Pamela Denise S. Kaasi Mary Grace T. Kabading Bea Mayan T. Aldehon Liza Victoria B. Kamatog Rhea Danes C. Paranza Judy Ann R. Cassil Chris Angel O. Cortez Jolie. Dalinding Samira A. Dati Ginoo Mark Daniel G. De Jose Caroline C. De Chavez Diana Hasmin G. De La Rosa Hannah Shane C. Delphine Jaime P. De Los Santos Alana May. Diaz Celica May A. Dinlasan Eunice Kate G. Leonardo Cipriana L. Donna Hanika May A. 
Dultra Kathleen T. Eman J. Ann S. Emeran Shana Ann Patricia Beatriz E. Endoso Maria Ia G. Espela Bianca Risi Grace S. Espiritu Raymart J. N. Francisco Rio Ann M. Gamboa Francesca Fernan O. Galeb Ahmed Madi Abdullah. Glino Zandra Nicole V. Hermogenes Maria Joanna H. Hernandez Princess Juliet S. Hundana Lara Angelica C. Lopez Rafael T. McLean Charlotte D.C. Montero Vin Z. Montiel Noriel B. Nobleza Veronica A. Ong Domingo Jr. D. Padilla Joyce R. Pagtalunan, Prishanel A. Quejada, Carl Angela R. Mendez, Mark Louis. Ritaga, Eunice E. Sermonia, Jimmy Boy A. Serrano, Christine F. Suarez, Tracy G. Valiente, Monique V. Iruma, Ira Jean T. Zulueta, Anjanet N. Antigua, Diane Abigail C. Agan, Raques T. Bangon, Amina M. Bernas, Renato Jr. D.B. Vitonio Edeline. Blanca, Clyde Jeremiah F. Bravo, Maria Junesca Ada Z. Casil, Ann Moraine. Kaubang, Neil Abiel V. Cleopas, LVC. Cordero, Jaime A. Dizon, Camille L. El Sheik Ali, Maricel R. Espejo, Aldous Joshua C. Espejo, Austin Joya C. Fadrilan, Maria Angelina O. Jeronimo, Joseph Dominic L. Han, Clara M. K. Keladi, Aisha S. Mateo, Patrick John A. Punzalan, Maris G. Rashid, Usman R. Reyes, Normita I. Rafael, Same A. Tenorio, Colin R. Tuazon, Jennifer T. Sarandona, Michael A. Aguilar, Zaira, Cassandra A. Albaracin, Gladys C. Ali Muhammad Hael Barbas Glidel Joy V Barros John Carlo Brioso Stephanie B Carion Charmaine Jamaica A Curie Asmia M Cruz Jason Ivan C Damasco Alexis B De Jesus Marl Dayan C De Leon Rachel Nanda M De Pedro Precious Joy, De Miao Jessa Amihan C, Gabin Riza Joy C, Garde Jerain Shin A, Gilyongos Ian Joshua, Hernandez Marie Elaine D, Ildefonso Princess Raylene C, Can Yopoldo A, Magtalas Mark Januel D, Mahmoud Mohamed Ibrahim A. Mamayo City Juaria S. Mamita Yelisa Mayo. Mangorun Ashnaira P. Mendoza Mary Faustine T. Miranda Abraham Gabriel M. Opon Maria Jessame. Padre Rona Fay P. Peralta Emmy Bernardine R. Rodriguez Michelle S. Sagisa Elijah Joshua B. Siano Monali B. Soriano Prince Aldrin B. Tan Jean A. Valdez Charlene May D. Yang Chini E. Abadiano Divine F. Abu Bakr Yaakov Abdul Mahed M. Alarcon Zamaina Marie. 
Ahmed Kadiha Nor Hussein S. Aranas Emmanuel L. Araza Christian Mark C. Baaziz Ahmed S. Bele Nikata Joy B. Borhan Sara. Caredo Maria Nena Teresa R. Casas Lindsay V. Cervantes Glenn Paulo R. Coronel Alex Jr. R. De Guzman Josephine T. De Leon Winnie Ann E. Donato Patricia L. Escobal Jessica Clarice. Daniel Pamela Joy D. Francisco Winnie V. Galistre Maria Cristina V. Umabay Joshua Nicolai Isidor A. Lainez Christine T. Manlapig Maki Andre D. Mochizuki Kauri M. Mogol Vincent William. Monte Sofia Isabel M. Noche Joanna May M. Ocampo Jubilin Rose Opeña R. Christian S. Ordanza Giselle L. Prado Sheehan Emmanuel C. Kikep Mar Louis F. Sally Muyed Sally M. Sandoval John Ernest Gilier H. Sevilla George John Bell G. Tabios Aryan Blanche G. Zafra Danica Jo V. Makapagal, Mary Joyce R. Ochavilio, Andrew. Ortiz, Vance Christian Y. Adorna, Renalyn V. Alcala, Abigail S. Amurao, Mary Rolalin M. Anglo, Sherilyn M. Antimano, Ryan Christian D. Balderian, Albert R. Bartolome Charis, Bas Jesus B, Bersamin Hazel A, Castillo Maria Claris, Estropigan Patrick Owen P, Pajardo Roberto, Gaspar Cristel Fay, Gonzales Maria Angela N, Gregorio Richel D, Hunain Fausia T. Ikashano, Hana Patricia M. Inok, Nasra Y. Jalali, Arnaline S. Jalali, Nor Aisha S. Langkasan, Juwairia A. Limas, Corina T. Lumanco, Jemima H. Matcha, John Bear S. Nuke, Jaime Nicole B. Pagunzaga, Bridget B. Raffle, Mark Daryl, Ricafort, Melody G, Robin, Rinalyn J, Salahero, Carol Joseph A, Sikat, Rainiel Joseph Kyle S, Sunga, Nika Dunari S, Vergara, Sean Martin Edwin A, Villaruel, Rex De Castro. Brandares Marich C. Abril Maria Lourdes D. Thesis title, Level of Readiness on the Spiral Progression Approach in Teaching Science, Batch 2019. Aguila Jessica J. Thesis title, Reading Comprehension, Vocabulary and Sequential of Events of Learning Abilities Among Grade 4 Learner Using Silent and Oral Activities, Batch 2019. Agustin Marcelina V. Thesis title, Teacher's Workforce Adjustment, Basis for a Workforce Diversity Management Program, Batch 2020. Aliswag Adeline J. Thesis title, Instructional Leadership Practices, Batch 2019. Angkos Ricky C. Thesis title, Reciprocity for Inclusive Growth Among Public School Teachers Basis for Financial Literacy Program Batch 2020 Araño Mary Rose M. Thesis title 
pandemic-related stressors and self-efficacy among teachers, basis for an action plan, Badge 2020. Avino Helen P. This is titled, Utilization of Technology Mediated Lessons in Teaching Reading, a Pathway for Students' Comprehension, Badge 2020. Ayapana Mary Jane D. This is title, Accounts of Learners' Most Essential Learning Competencies, Basis for Innovative Methodologies in Teaching Mathematics, Batch 2020. Atienza A.R. John A. This is title, Automaticity in Mathematics Competition Towards Mathematics Competency, Batch 2020. Bakunot Jennifer S. This is title, Integration of 5 C's in Supplemental Learning Materials, Mapping the Essential Competencies in Mathematics, Batch 2020. Bakusa LNB. This is title, Fluency-Oriented Reading Instruction as a Teaching Approach in Mother Tongue-Based Multilingual Education, Batch 2021. Bagyon Ana C. This is title, Vlogging, a Technology-Based Instructional Approach in Teaching Araling Panglipunan, Batch 2019. Balazon Catherine Ann R. This is title, Resiliency of Parents in Child Homeschooling, a Pathway to Parental Capability, Batch 2021. Barba Jinky B. This is title, Contextualizing Learning Continuity Plan, a Cornerstone in Teaching MAPE, Batch 2021. Bartolome Norley D. This is title, Interdisciplinary Approach in Sex Education Towards Learners' Behavior, Batch 2019. Bautista Ailen D. This is title, Academic Performance of Grade 7 in Metric Conversion Through the Use of Digital Picture Book Towards Learners' Improvement, Batch 2019. Bonifacio Andres P. This is title, Animation Competency of Grade 11 Students, Basis for Enhancement Learning Program, Batch 2019. Borja Gina D. This is title, Preparedness in Disaster Risk Reduction Management at the Pass National High School. Basis for Proposed Evacuation Plan, Badge 2019. Brenna Bernadette M. This is title, Implementation of Department of Education Health Standards in Selected Public and Private Schools in the District of Lilio, Laguna, Badge 2020. Kamat Lordly G. This is title, Relationship of Prosodic Reading Proficiency and Reading Comprehension of Grade 6 Students, Batch 2019. Kamai Angela H. This is title, Formative Assessment Strategies and its Effect on Students' Academic Achievement in Science, Batch 2019. Kamayo Michelle B. This is title, Non-Intellective Dimension. A Perspective on Mathematical Proficiency, Batch 2019. Karandang Alexaida G. This is title, Competencies of Kindergarten Pupils and Teachers Attribute, Its Implications to Learning Enhancement, Batch 2021. Carrasco Editha G. This is title, Implementation of Spiral Profession Approach, and teaching grade 4 learners, Batch 2019. Coronan Flora T. This is title, Reading Intervention, a Framework for Reading Comprehension, Batch 2019. Castillo Venerando C. This is title, Blended Learning in Teaching English for Academic and Professional Purposes, Input for the Development of Support Program, Batch 2020. Castro Jericho V. This is title, An Application of Jericho Towards Democratization of the Teaching and Learning Process, Batch 2020. Sierra Gratitude Joy C. 
physics title, innovative approach to teaching science subject in K-12, a guide for effective teaching towards learner's improvement, batch 2019. Call on Annaline R. Thesis title, Parental Involvement in the Academic Performance of Pupils in Diversified Classroom Phenomena Towards Learning Improvement, Batch 2020. Cometa Raydale R. Thesis title, Computer Generated Imagery in High School Calculus, a Tool in Facilitating Knowledge Acquisition, Batch 2021. Concepcion Irene J. Thesis title, Implementation of Definitive Budget of Work Among Grade 7 Science Teaching, Batch 2019. Concepcion Phoebe Grace G. Thesis title, Implementation of Student Anti-Bullying Action Center in Public Secondary Schools in Taguig City, Basis for Policy Enhancement, Batch 2019. Cruz Monet C. Thesis title, Senior High School Production and Performing Arts Apprenticeship, Plan for Continuous Improvement, Batch 2019. Cruzada Perla V. Thesis title, Continuity of Learning Mathematics in a Grade 12 Curriculum, Framework for Student Learning Rate of Jose Rizal University Secondary Department, Batch 2019. Kunana Lorena T. Thesis title, Capability of a Selected Public Elementary School in Teaching Technology and Livelihood Education, Batch 2019. The Place on Christine D. Thesis title, Prompting as an Instructional Strategy for Skill Acquisition in Grade 5 Mathematics, an Approach for Effective Teaching, Batch 2019. The Gohoy, Mary Jane S. Thesis title, Four Essential Components of the Leadership Repertoire, Basis for Development of a Training Program, Batch 2019. Glamy, Maria Leia F. Thesis title, Students' Motivation in Sports Activities, An Input to Local Coaching Program, Batch 2020. The Tuin Genevieve E. Thesis title, Use of Filipino superheroes as interactive models in teaching angular kinematics among grade 12 students. Batch 2019. Degula Renalien N. Thesis title, Linguistic Errors in Writing Composition among Students of Colegio ng Luxot ng Lipa. Basis for Program Plan. Batch 2019. Degula Robert Luis N. Thesis title, Research Capability of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics graduates in Colegio ng Lungsod ng Lipa toward a model development. Batch 2020. De La Rosa Divine Grace G. Thesis title, Cognitive Factors Affecting Reading Comprehension, Basis for Development Models in Reading Instruction. Batch 2020. De La Cruz Prima C. Thesis title, Department of Education Memorandum Number 095 Series of 2018, Input for a Full Gliding Implementation, Batch 2019. Deladia Maria Lourdes D. Thesis title, The Management Learning System in Technology and Livelihood Education Towards an Enhanced Technology Classroom-Based Instruction, Batch 2019. De Leon, Mary Ann R. Thesis title, Classroom Learning Environment, Basis for Classroom Development Program, Batch 2019. De Los Santos, Buena C. Thesis title, Comparative Performance of Students on the Differentiated Learning Modalities During Pandemic, Basis for an Action Plan, Batch 2020. Diaz, Jeanette T. Thesis title, Taxonomy of Instructional Leadership Among School Heads in New Normal, A Pathway to School Effectiveness, Batch 2021. Dimaapi Maria Dinar L. Thesis title, Technology-Aided Instruction and Invention in Mathematics and Inventory, Batch 2021. Dimakulangan Yolanda M. Thesis title, Grade 3 Pupils, Level of Spelling Skills in English Towards a Proposed Teaching Plan, Batch 2019. Dimafelis, Mary Grace C. 
thesis title, Instructional Leadership in the New Normal Toward an Enhanced Development Program, Batch 2021. Duran Zaira May S. Thesis title, Acceptability of Development Visual Arts and Computer-Assisted Instructional Materials Towards Enhancement Program in Teaching Reading, Batch 2019. Edu Rochelle P. Thesis title, Modular Instructional Delivery, Status, Issues, and Prospects, Batch 2021. L.E. Marion H. Thesis title, Use of Multimedia Instruction in Teaching Physical Education, a Framework for Technology Classroom-Based Learning, Batch 2019. Endoso, Judith Mary P. Thesis title, Virtual Games in Teaching Kindergarten, Basis for a Learning Delivery Enhancement, Batch 2021. Ferrer, Mary Ann G. Thesis title, Video Lesson in Teaching Mathematics, a Framework for Learners' Need, Batch 2020. Flamenio, Antonieta C. This is title, Strategic Intervention Material in Mathematics for Grade 9 Students, A Guide for Effective Teaching, Batch 2020. Garcia Esmeralda O. This is title, Level of Adequacy of Department of Education Science Learners Module for Grade 9, Batch 2019. Gamboa Merlin M. This is title, Factors Influencing the Contribution of Exploratory Talk to Reasoning Skills of Grade 12 Students in General Biology. Basis for Program Plan, Batch 2019. Gascon, Jana Abby Marie R. Thesis title, Analyzing Teachers' Competency Under the K-12 Program Toward the Development of an Academic Program, Batch 2019. Gascon Jana Ariane Marie R. Thesis title, Exploring the Experience of Neophyte Teachers Towards Development of a Framework, Batch 2019. Gonzalez Maria Nympha M. Thesis title, Second Sense Strategy in Reading Comprehension Skills, A Basis for Intervention Plan, Batch 2019. Gregorio Louis S. Thesis title, Status of Science Laboratory and its Affected Academic Performance of Grade 9 Students. Basis for Intervention Program, Batch 2019. Guerrero Grace Ann M. This is title, Challenges Encountered by Kindergarten Teachers in Rating the Performance of Pupils with Disability in an Inclusive Classroom Towards Development Program, Batch 2019. Ibabang Shem G. Thesis title, Accounts of Teachers Amidst Pandemic, Compensation Appropriation, Batch 2020. Jimenez Erlinda J. Thesis title, Best Practices Among Two Years Old Head Start Program Preschool, A Framework, Batch 2019. Calau Rodelio Ambrosio S. Thesis title, Teaching Physical Education Through Virtual Modality, Pathways to Students' Learning Engagement, Batch 2021. La Hera Margarita D. This is title, Using Smartboard in Language Teaching Towards Development of Instructional Learning Kit, Batch 2019. Luminario Marianella B. This is title, Vernacular in Teaching Mathematics Towards Development of Contextualized Learning Resources. Batch 2019. Malala, Mary Jean D. This is title, Visayan Speaking Students, Their Plight and Adaptation as Basis for an Action Plan. Batch 2019. Malapascua, Flavia M. This is title, Understanding Parental Involvement in Teaching and Learning of Pupils, Basis for Development Plan. Batch 2020. Maldonado Play on M. This is title, Influence of the Communicative Language Teaching Method in the Academic Performance of the Grade 7 Students in Santa Anastasia, San Rafael National High School, an action plan, 
Batch 2020, Malipol Pilar S. Thesis title, Influence of Learning Style on Grade 3 Pupils Learning Performance. Batch 2019, Manlangit Emilu P. Thesis title, Colibri, a computer-supported collaborative learning tool in teaching English. Batch 2019, Mapala Jenny M. Thesis title, Exploring Wolfgang and Glickman Model of Classroom Management in the New Normal. Batch 2021, Makiraya Sorin M. Thesis title, Comparative Analysis of Student Academic Performance and Teaching Modalities in Grades and Mathematics for School Year 2020-2021. Challenges and Recommendations. Batch 2020. Marquez Vivencio Angelo Jr. U. Thesis title, Emotional Competence and Academic Performance of High School Students, a Basis for Intervention Program. Batch 2019. Mayuga Buen Benito. Thesis title, Instructional in Integrating Blended Learning Modality of Academia de Mayuga School. Status, Issues, and Prospects. Batch 2020. Medrana Arnell M. Thesis title, Factors Influencing Slum and Teaching Among Elementary Teachers Towards Intervention Program. Batch 2019. Mojares Zariza Mariel T. Thesis title, Technology Mediated Instructional Material in Teaching Science Towards Development of an Ebook. Batch 2021. Montes Hill G. This is titled Classroom Behavior and Learning Management of Junior High School Teachers Strategic Training Program. Batch 2019. Mordido Vincent Nick M. This is titled Content Knowledge of Mathematics Teachers in Relation to the Performance of Students Basis for Action Plan. Batch 2019. Nogot Elizabeth B. This is title, Social Media Networks in Teaching Araling Panglipunan and Pupils Academic Performance, Basis for Development of Monitoring Guidelines. Batch 2020. Olivar Jaime S. This is title, Status of English Instruction in Selected Public Schools in Manila, Basis for Enhancement Program. Batch 2020. Osita Benji C. This is title, Self-Paced Video Lessons in Mathematics, A Journey to Effective Instructional Delivery, Batch 2019. Pablo Joy Steele. This is title, Understanding Public School Teachers' Experiences of Work Intensification, Batch 2019. Padaon Jason T. This is title, Influence of School-Related Factors on Mathematics Achievement of Grade 10 Science Class in the District of Bay, Division of Laguna, Basis for an Action Plan, Batch 2019. Pamahoy Marifar S. This is title, Pedagogical Competencies of Teachers and Students' Learning Outcomes, Instructional Competency Program, Batch 2020. Parohinol Eduardo. This is title, School Heads Facilitative Leadership Practices and Teachers' Productivity, a Proposed Guide, Batch 2020. Perez Jasmine S. This is title, Gamification, an Alternative Instructional Approach in Teaching Pupils, Batch 2019. Perez Maria Teresa B. This is title, Investigating Pedagogical Practices in the Act of Teaching a model. Batch 2020. Perez Thelma M. Thesis title The Key Performance Indicators of a Public Elementary School Prospects and Problems. Batch 2019. Pilie Camille Jane T. Thesis title Pandemic Related Factors Affecting Instructional Delivery of Alternative Learning System Towards a Plan of Action. Batch 2021. Plana Gowena A. This is title, Psychosocial Behavior Experience by the Students, Basis for a Contingency Plan of Action, Batch 2021. 
Pokyutan Maria Cristina G. This is titled, Inquiry-Based Teaching Method in Science in a Virtual Learning Environment, Basis for a Learning Continuing Outcome, Batch 2020. Ramos Jeanette D. This is titled, Educational Experience of Malnourished Pupils as Central Development Predictor for Learning, Batch 2019. Rahiz Maria Fe H. This is titled, Virtual Phenomenological Approach in Beginning Reading for Instructional Resiliency and Intervention Approach, Batch 2020. Rendon Basilica V. This is titled, Classroom Management Practices Among Teachers Towards Improved Teaching Process, Batch 2019. Rendon Marvin A. This is titled, Kitsch Construction Integration, a Model in Teaching Reading, Batch 2019. Rentar Laila P. This is titled, Development of Mathematical Communication Through Math Essay Writing, Moving Towards Proficiency, Batch 2019. Reyes Gloria M. This is titled, Status of Selected Private Preschools, Input to Intervention Program, Batch 2019. Reyes, Mary Grace A. This is titled, Animation Technique and Storytelling, a Method for Students' Comprehension, Batch 2020. Reyes, Philip Marciano D. This is titled, Edmodo as a Web-Based Instructional Platform in Teaching Technology and Livelihood Education, a Framework. Batch 2019, Rivera Jacqueline P. This is titled, School Heads Compliance to Depend Order Number 41, Integrating Values Development in All Subject Areas Towards Policy Enhancement. Batch 2019, Saba Ruena A. This is titled, Online Distance Learning as a Pathway for Kindergarten in New Normal. Batch 2019, Santiago Julieta A. This is titled, A SWOT Analysis of a Selected Senior High School in Laguna Toward a Model of Marketing Approaches. Batch 2019. Santiago Stephen Michael L. This is titled, Teacher's Perspective and Application of Communicative Language Teaching, A Grounded Theory. Batch 2021. Santos Donna May R. This is titled, Teaching and Learning Mathematics in the New Normal, Integrating Thinking, Problem Solving, and Technology, Batch 2020. Sarmiento Vicky M. This is titled, Functional Numeracy Among Pupil, Basis for Mathematics Instructional Plan of the New Normal, Batch 2020. Saukilio Yunora L. This is titled, Project Positive Discipline Focus, an Approach to Sustain Classroom Discipline, Batch 2019. Sibulan Razel P. This is titled, Level Compliance of Science Teachers in Learning Assurance Mapping Project Towards Enhancement of Instructional Plan, Batch 2020. Silang Michelle A. This is titled, Challenges in Teaching Mathematics Among Alternative Learning System Learners Basis for Crafting Development Models Batch 2019 Soriano Cesar Jr. G. This is titled Development and Validation of Strategic Intervention Materials A Learning Support for Academically Challenged Learners in Mathematics Batch 2019 Santa Ana Romeo Jr. SJ. This is titled Status and Implementation of Policy Standards of a Selected Senior High School Towards Sustainability, Batch 2019. Tabuso Joveline T. This is titled Applied Skills in Developing Phonological Awareness Competency Among Grade 1 Learners Towards Instructional Programs. Batch 2020, Taguntong Annaline C. This is titled, 
Competency Audit of Alternative Learning System, Completer School Year 2016-2018, Strengthening the Process of Alstran, a Guide for Acceleration, Batch 2019. Tanyongon Alberto O. This is titled, Teacher's Performance, an Input Towards Quality Education at Lingam Elementary School in San Pedro City, Laguna, Batch 2019. Tapia Roxan L. Thesis title, Blended Learning for General Mathematics Courses, Impact Analysis, Batch 2021. Tayer Karis Joy C. Thesis title, Performance of Students in Reading, Basis for Innovative Strategies in Teaching, Batch 2020. Tenorio Marjorie M. Thesis title, Impact of COVID-19 Pandemic on Psychological Well-Being of Teachers in a Public School, Batch 2020. Tesorio Annalisa N. This is titled, Feminism in Selected Postmodern Short Stories in English of Filipino Authors, a Content Analysis, Batch 2020. Tikis Maria Victoria V. This is titled, Application of Ethno-Mathematics Approach Basis for the Development of Culture-Based Enhanced Program, Batch 2020. Torres Maria Aimee G. This is titled, Bullying Among Students, Management and Intervention, Batch 2020. To Liao Lea Jeleen A. This is titled, Kindergarten Program Management Practices for Learners' Development, Towards Enhanced Early Childhood Instructional Framework, Batch 2021. Tuzon Arlenita C. This is titled Learning at Homes, Its Effect on the Mastery Level of Grade 10 Students, Batch 2019. Umali Emilu M. This is titled Public Elementary Schools Capability in Special Education Program. Inputs for Strategic Plan, Batch 2019. Umali Joan N. This is titled, Operationalization of the Depth and Order Number 12 Series of 2020 on Modular Instruction, The Case of Selected School in Talisay, Batangas, Batch 2021. Valenzuela Carmina Y. This is titled, the Effectiveness of Context Clue and Word List Instruction Strategies in Improving the Vocabulary Skills of Grade 6 Students in Dulong Bayan Elementary Schools Badge 2019 Velacruz Alisa M. This is titled Psychosocial Factors in Influencing High School Students' Participation in Physical Education Activity Basis for an Action Plan Badge 2019 Verso John Mark C. This is title Four Prong Approach Basis for Teacher's Guide for Development Strategy in Teaching Reading, Batch 2019. Victoria Loretta V. This is title Technology and Livelihood Education Departments Preparedness in Utilizing Blended Teaching Options Towards Effective Teaching and Learning, Batch 2020. Villanueva Aizniz B. This is titled, Reading Difficulties of Grade 1 Pupils Towards the Development of Instructional Materials, Batch 2020. Villanueva Aimerine B. This is titled, Adopt a School Program, An Approach for School Continuous Support, Batch 2019. Wagwag Rosa Dolores M. This is titled, Guided Reading Strategy in Developing Reading Comprehension of Students in an Alternative Learning System, Basis for Individualized Reading Assistance Program, Batch 2020. Yaon May R. B. This is titled, Inquiry-Based Learning Method in Teaching Core Subjects for Mastery Learning of Concepts for Learners in Alternative Learning System, Basis for Development, a Module. Batch 2019. Yongao Junior Perfecto D. This is title Utilizing Beam, Breathing, Imagery, and Music to Increase 5 Grade 6 Students' Concentration and Mathematics Task, a Framework. Batch 2019. 
Zuniga Joel Diel. Thesis title, Level of Spirituality of Grade School Students, Development of a Framework, Batch 2021. Annunciation Abigail R. Thesis title, Live Experiences of COVID Survivor Patients, Batch 2021. Barameda Vera May C. Thesis title, Perspectives of Nurses on Job Satisfaction, The Honeymoon Hangover Effect, Batch 2019. Barrias Clark Joy L. Thesis title, Patient Satisfaction of the Care Rendered by Nursing Students, the case of a local hospital and school in Lucena City, batch 2019. Beltran Eva L. Thesis title, Live Experiences of Nurses Working on Wellness and Skin Clinics, batch 2019. Castillo Jane G. Thesis title, Health Hazards Affecting Health Workers in Aguilian District Hospital, Inputs for the Development of Infection Risk Plan. Batch 2019. De La Cruz Esmeralda L. Thesis title Live Experiences of Nurses Amidst Coronavirus Infection. Batch 2021. Pontelera Lira. Thesis title Exploring Existence Relatedness Growth Theory on Nurses Motivation. Batch 2019. Gapasin Jennifer. Thesis title, Issues and Challenges in Hospital Waste Management, a Basis for Improvement Plan, Batch 2019. Garcia Mark Kerwin B. Thesis title, Live Experiences of Families at Bayan Bayanan, Malabon City in Healthcare Services, Batch 2019. Han Ye Fen. Thesis title, Status of the Dyadic Coping with Infertility Patients with Their Spouses, a Basis for Psychological Intervention Plan, Batch 2020. Hugh Buck Seidel C. Thesis title, Stress and Coping Mechanism Among Unit Nurse Managers Experience Amidst Pandemic, Basis for Mental Wellness Program, Batch 2021. Jia Yanmin. Thesis title, Application of Chinese Medicine for Emotional Care in Patients with Postpartum Depression, Batch 2020. Lan Hong Xia. Thesis title, Trinity Intervention Model Care, a cornerstone to self-efficacy of hypertensive patients, Batch 2020. Kong Han. Thesis title, Palliative Care of Oncology Nurses on the Management of Pain and Common Symptoms, a Basis for Competency Training Development Program, Batch 2021. Lira Pamela V. Thesis title, Nurses' Quality of Care Management to Patients Before and During COVID-19 Pandemic, Basis for Health Advisory Protocol, Batch 2021. Manalus Catherine May P. Thesis title, Status Performance and Prospects in Responding to the COVID-19 Pandemic, a Case of Lung Center of the Philippines, Batch 2021. Mao Ya Lin. Thesis title, Status of the Trauma Care Units in Gansu Province, Inputs for Development of an Action Plan, Batch 2021. Mendoza Zarina T. This is titled Hand Hygiene Compliance Among Healthcare Workers in Intensive Care Unit of Tertiary Government Hospital Framework Infection Control Program. Oximas Gladys D. This is titled Nurses' Concepts on Fourth Industrial Revolution A Breakthrough in the Nursing Profession, Batch 2019. Kiao Chong Chu. This is titled Mental Health of Pregnant Women in Isolation. During the pandemic, a basis for intervention plan, batch 2021. Siman Huntak Florence Juliana, thesis title Experiences of Expatriate Nurses in Healthcare Facility During COVID 19 Pandemic, a basis for standard procedure, batch 2021. Tagapulot Douglas, 
Case is titled Effects of Bed Bath as the Physiologic Response Among Intubated Pediatric Patients Towards Enhanced Hygiene Protocols, Batch 2019. Tenorio Ralph Anthony C. Case is titled Operative Practices and Aseptic Principles of Operating Room Nurses, Basis for Continuous Quality Improvement Plan, Batch 2020. Wang Lee. This is titled, Second Childbearing Willingness of Women in Yishui County under the Comprehensive Two-Child Policy Toward an Improvement Policy Plan, Batch 2021. Aquino John Matthew A. This is titled, Record Management System of an Educational Institution and its Implications to Local Governance, Batch 2020. Arado Merced Y. This is title, Procurement Process of Essential Medicines Basis for Program Plan, Batch 2021. Balbuena LVG. This is title, Senior Citizens Accounts During the COVID-19 Pandemic, A Basis for an Intervention Program, Batch 2020. Bermejo Fernan B. This is title, Impact of Local Government Administration Mechanism in Addressing the Economic Development Challenges in the New Normal. Batch 2021. Bonas Jefferson G. This is title, Management Practices of the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. Inputs for the Development of a Penal Reform Plan. Batch 2021. Bondoy Prospero Jr. B. This is title, Child Sexual Abuse, Basis for Victim Recovery Program, Batch 2020. Kalaranan Paul B. This is title, E-Governance of a Local Government Unit in Mindoro, Basis for Development of an Action Plan, Batch 2020. Caspilio Jeter Jose P. This is title, Organizational culture of a selected closed government agency in Mandaluyong City as correlate of organizational commitment, Batch 2019. Quadra Paul Michael M. Thesis title, Merit System of Selected Local Government Unit, a cornerstone for promotion, Batch 2020. David Australia C. Thesis title, Interactive Portals, a Pipeline on the Effectiveness of Engineering Services, Batch 2019. De La Cruz Albert A. This is title, Security Services of Sandigan Bayan, Inputs to Technology-Based Security System, Batch 2019. De Maala Ronel P. This is title, Experiences of Healthcare Professionals in COVID-19 Phenomenon, Basis for Contingency Plan, Batch 2020 and CISO John Lester O. Thesis title Employee Productivity and Work Commitment on Flexible Work Scheme, a Model, Batch 2020. Espinosa Fortaleza Clarice Grace B. Thesis title Human Rights Violation Among the Victims of the Government Project Double Barrel, Upland to Camp, Basis for Revisiting Policy Recommendation, Batch 2021. Isip Vincent C. Thesis title, Procurement Process. It's effect to the hospital performance in selected government hospital. Batch 2021. Lazaro Zenaida G. Thesis title, Retail Outlets Compliance to the Department of Circular Number 2017-11001, Revised Rule and Regulations Governing the Business of Retailing Liquid Fuels. Batch 2020. Lu Hujin. This is title: Rural Construction in China, Countermeasures for the Beautification of Countryside in New Bay City, Batch 2020. Nadonga Nerisa. This is title: Omnibus Rules of Executive Order Number no. 292, Book 5, Basis for Civil Service Commission Guide for Public Servants, Batch 2019. On the Wegbu Collins C. This is title Psychological Effects of Employees Retrenchment in Nigeria Amidst COVID-19 Pandemic. 
basis for development of intervention plan batch 2021 rodriguez the second manuel a thesis title policy assessment on repatriation assistance to distress overseas filipino citizens basis for policy recommendations towards service innovation batch 2020 you alejandro y thesis title policy review in the ecological waste management basis for environment program batch 2020 barcena abangelin m dissertation title teaching physical education amidst pandemic breaking through challenges for students learning outcomes batch 2020 belen gina m dissertation title first grade reading instruction in the new normal input for digital beginning reading materials batch 2020 kabael sani a Dissertation title, School Leaders Management Behavior, Style, and Teachers' Job Performance, Batch 2020. Kahigal Emelita M. Dissertation title, Management Leadership Transition Assignment Towards a Model, Batch 2019. Carilio Karen C. Dissertation title, Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, Basis for Capacity Building to Quality Education, Batch 2020. Corpus Roderick P. Dissertation title, A Meta-Analysis of Alternative Learning System, Performance and Prospects, Batch 2020. Cortez Jennifer P. Dissertation title, Accounts of Students in an Online Learning Modality, Basis for Enhancement Program, Batch 2020. De La Rosa Corazon A. Dissertation title, Revolutionizing Leadership Skills of School Principals Towards a Framework, Batch 2020. Elma Margaret P. Dissertation title, School Teachers Stressors in the New Normal, The Unfold Story, Batch 2020. Filoteo Justinian Y, dissertation title, A Tracer Study of Criminology Graduates of Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, a basis for professional development, Batch 2020. Gadaza Babylin M, dissertation title, Audit Best Practices, Basis for Innovative Management Plan, Batch 2019. Garcia Nida Z. Dissertation title, Transition in Related Learning Experience of Nursing Students in the Advent of COVID-19, A Roadmap to Alternative Learning System, Batch 2020. Garcia Kenneth Myro D. Dissertation title, Emotional Intelligence and Learning Styles, Basis of an Intervention Program, Batch 2019. Gordula Nova A. Dissertation title, Exploring the Experience on Teachers in Multigrade Instructional Preparations in Times of Adversities, Batch 2020. Gregorio Maria Blessel P. Dissertation title, Supplementary Digitalized Learning Materials, an Alternative Learning Delivery Mode in Teaching Science, Batch 2020. Gutierrez Mylin M. Dissertation title, Status of School Community Partnership Through Stakeholder Engagement in School-Based Management, a Retrospective Study, Batch 2019. Honorate Mayrasol O. Dissertation title, School Partnership with the Community Towards Shared Accountability, Batch 2020. Isla Victoria A. Dissertation title, Alternative Work Arrangements During Pandemic, Basis for Strategic Monitoring Plan, Batch 2020. La Lord Marie V. Dissertation title, Virtual Manipulatives in Teaching Mathematics, Batch 2020. Libit Irene D. Dissertation title, 
ethical behaviors and leadership styles of school heads, a framework for school effectiveness, batch 2019. Laganas Narbet S. Exploring Hollinger Model on Instructional Leadership, a Framework for School Heads, Batch 2020. Malilin Glenda A. Dissertation Title, Differentiated Gamification Techniques in Teaching Reading, a Game-Based Digitalized Reading Intervention, Batch 2020. Miranda Edwin C. Dissertation title, Sports Initiatives on Selected Schools in the District of Santo Tomas Inputs for the Development of School Sports Program, Batch 2020. Mortel Jean R. Dissertation title, Making the Connections, Moore's Theory of Transactional Distance in the Virtual Classrooms, Batch 2021. Naval Dorothy J. Dissertation title, Utilization of Robotics Flipped Instruction to Student Learning Outcomes, Batch 2020. Olmeda Carmelita A. Dissertation title, Modular Distance Learning, a Cornerstone of Learning Pathways for Pupils' Development, Batch 2020. Ortilia Edna Y. Dissertation title, Implementation of the Enhanced School Improvement Plan, Basis for the Development of Stakeholders' Collaborative Action Plan in Selected Non-Central Schools in the Division of Batangas Province, Batch 2020. Pasinos, Carlo Erva M. Dissertation title, Community Involvement Initiatives, a Model for Stakeholders' Practices, Batch 2019. Paragas Andrea Jane N. Dissertation title, Financial Management Practices Among Selected Public School Teachers Towards Development of a Model, Batch 2019. Paran Raymond Christopher R. Dissertation title, Status Performance in Competency Based of Teachers in Selected Schools in the District of Bay Laguna, a Framework, Batch 2020. Tirante Caroline S. Dissertation title, Capability of Educational Leaders in Online Distance Learning, a Proposed Framework, Batch 2021. Punzalan Mila B. Dissertation title, Conflict Management Strategies of Filipino Nurses in the Global Settings, a Look into Diversity, Batch 2019. Remo Regine A. Dissertation title, Moral Leadership Among Elementary Public School Heads, Work Ethics Framework, Batch 2020. Remo Rosale A. Accountability of a School Principal Leadership Model in an Era of Uncertainty, Batch 2020. Chete Reales Kim G. L. Dissertation title, Organizational Climate in Public School, a Proposed Guide for Better Relationships, Batch 2019. Valdopenas Marlon B. Dissertation title, Managing Rural Schools in Time of Adversity Towards a Strategic School Management Roadmap, Batch 2020. Versola Severa C. Dissertation title, Saving Practices and Consumption Decisions, Basis for Microeconomic Model, Batch 2019. Vida Cynthia B. Dissertation title, Transformational Teaching and Learning Towards Technology Practices Among School Heads, Batch 2021. Villegas Roland D. Dissertation title, Leadership Management in the New Normal Towards a Contingency Plan, Batch 2020. Adora Baratiel B. Dissertation title, Exploring the Experiences of PTB Patients Towards Developing a Model for Management Compliance, Batch 2019. 
Alonzo Angeli Nasreen H. Dissertation title, Experiences of Nursing Graduates in the Review Centers, Batch 2019. Andre Michael Sandino T. Dissertation title, Textual Ties in Text, a Comparison of Cohesion in Research Articles Among Filipino Writers, Batch 2019. Arana Emma T. Dissertation title, Teacher's Application of the Communicative Language Teaching in Teaching Oral Communication Towards Instructional Strategies, Batch 2019. Bernardino Jocelyn A. Dissertation title, Creative Writing Proficiency of Students in Different Genre Towards Development of a Module, Batch 2019. Prospero Rogelio D. Dissertation title, Open High School Program, Basis for Strategic Improvement Program, Batch 2019. Daran Dennis N. Dissertation title, Instructional Management Practices on PE, Inputs for Program Development, Batch 2019. Dairit Rolando P. Dissertation title, Feynman Technique, an Approach in Teaching Anglo-American Literature, Batch 2019. The Guzman Jesse E. Dissertation title, Impact of COVID-19 on the Mental Health Among Nurses, Batch 2020. Viola Juliana B. Dissertation title, E-Learning Module, A Bridge to Academic Performance, Towards Learning Continuity Plan, Batch 2020. Lavara Gemma R. Dissertation title, High School Performance in STEM Strength as Basis on Nursing Program Towards Learning Continuity Plan, Batch 2020. Mahagwai Christine Carla P. Dissertation title, Literary Approach Models in analyzing selected Amir Khan films, input for the development of crediting guide, batch 2020. Manalo Omar E. Dissertation title, Scriptural Understones in Selected Filipino Postmodern Literature in English, a Content Analysis, batch 2020. Mejia Emily Joy B. Dissertation title, Productivity and Work Values Among New Generation Teachers, a Model, Batch 2020. Meng Chun, Dissertation Title, Social Adaptability and Life Satisfaction of Foreign Workers in the Philippines, a Comparative Study, Batch 2021. Nicolas Maria Dolora D. Dissertation Title, Problem Solving Map Approach in Teaching Mathematics, Development of the Strategic Plan, Batch 2020. Nunato Jonathan R. Dissertation Title, Intellective and Non-Intellective Predictors of English Performance Toward Development of Flexible Learning Delivery, Batch 2020. Ohike Celestine. Dissertation title, Category Theory and its Application to Mathematics, Batch 2021. Osai Florence C. Dissertation title, Application of Fielder Contingency Management Theory Amidst Adverse Situations Towards Development of Sustainability Model, Batch 2020. Passer Melchor G. Dissertation title, Prediction Model for Engineering Students' Performance in Differential Equations, Batch 2019. Pardito Ranilo H. Dissertation title, Creative Writing Curriculum in Selected Senior High School in the Division of Quezon, a Groundwork for a Teaching Guide, Batch 2020. Reyes Maria Criselda M. Dissertation title, Training Needs Analysis of the English Teachers in Public Senior High School Towards Development of a Continuing Professional Development Accredited Module, Batch 
2019. Ruiz Crisofelli D. Dissertation title, Issues and Challenges in the Rehabilitation of Boracay Island, a Guide Program, Batch 2019. Talde Junior Ricardo T. Dissertation title, Predictors of Adoption of Internet Banking, a Regression Analysis, Batch 2019. Omali Marionette C. Dissertation title, Computer-Aided Tool in the Application of Newton's Difference Formula in Determining Equations of Functions, Batch 2021. Vivar Maria Teresa B. Dissertation title, Institutional Practices of Manila Law School Toward Enhancement Program for First Bar Takers, Batch 2019. Yage Julius O. Dissertation title, Essentials of Healthcare, Basis for Health Facilities Education Program, Batch 2019. First of all, on behalf of the College of Criminology, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to all of you for successfully completing your long and challenging four years of BS Criminology course during these pandemic times. As your dean, I am reaching out to let you know that all of us, your professors, staff, and administrators of PCHS are extremely proud of your success. Your graduation and your success are PCHS success too. Graduating from a long and challenging four years of criminology education means that there are many new opportunities awaiting you to grab. Enjoy every step of the way of this new chapter that you have today. My snappy salute goes out to you and soon you will enter the world of criminology professionals. Lastly, I am looking forward to seeing all of you in achieving your dreams and passing your respective criminologist licensure examination and become a registered criminologist. Make us your PCHS family proud and your loved ones, especially your parents who supported you all the way. Again, congratulations, Kape DM, and to God be the glory. Dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor as Dean of College of Education and Liberal Arts to congratulate PCHS graduates. It is your hard work that has brought you to the finish line of your studies here and the starting line of your professional careers. And to celebrate your achievements during this extraordinary and difficult time, which is the current epidemiological situation that does not allow us to hold face-to-face -face graduation ceremony. Due to the presence of coronavirus or COVID-19, it has been a long, perhaps exhausting, and not always fun, but certainly a fruitful and rewarding journey. We teach our students to be creative, imaginative, to think originally and unconventionally, and not to be afraid to push the boundaries. But above all, Teach them to be respectful and open to others' ideas. To accept the different and embrace the unknown. Because as what Mohandas K. Gandhi said, education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. Because it is my personal belief that the possession of qualities and values can transform individuals into real citizen of the world that are able to adapt to critical circumstances and provide solutions to humanity's grand challenges. During the pandemic, you all realize how fragile normality is, that in the blink of an eye, the whole world can turn around and what you have previously simply does not apply anymore. You have also become witnesses
process of the travel of the societies, to react and to adjust to the new conditions. Education would only follow the same path. Although completely new and unknown, educational forms to everyone were rapidly introduced. You managed to show the adaptability and perseverance that our times demand in the reach of your ultimate goal. Perhaps many of you have not yet realized that these are historical moments. And you, in your own unique way, have made history. But this is not the end. It is rather the beginning of a new, perhaps even more exciting and unpredictable journey that will lead you to the next step. Who knows what tomorrow may bring to us all? And who can even predict how humanity will look like in the near future? This uncertainty is, should not be a personal impediment, but rather an opportunity to modify your way of thinking to be creative in your own ideas and redefine your approaches to problem management and solution. You now know what it takes to achieve the targets you set. And we all hope that we provided you the right ammunition that will make you, that will make this become a reality. Congratulations once again on your graduation. I'm wishing you success in this new chapter of your life. The words can express how proud I am of every one of you. Of our time together we have come to an end. But the learning that we both share remain. Whichever career path you may take, your career trajectory is sure to be up. You have struggled and earned your keep by completing your task as students. Even though we were not unaware and not expecting this pandemic is going to happen, that affects our way of life, especially the educational system. The transition from traditional outcomes-based education to flexible blended learning that most schools uh, were un unprepared. However, our institution, the Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, accepted the challenges during this time of pandemic in strengthening the delivery of quality of education to the best ability that we can for the sake of our students. So my dear graduates, Whichever you will be working behind the scenes in the laboratory or hospital, always remember that you play an important role in the welfare of the people. Be proud of your work. You serve a higher cause now. Let your silent work bring ripples of healing to your patients in the laboratory or elsewhere for that peace your true place under the sun. Congratulations to all. As a dean of the College of Mercy, I am proud of your Mercy graduates on your accomplishment. This is the product of your patience and hard work. Do not stop to do your best until you become registered nurses. You are badly needed by the people of the country in providing quality health services especially in this time of adversities. Give thanks to the Lord for His guidance, to your parents for all the support, and to the administration in providing quality education. My dear graduates and my future colleagues in the nursing profession, congratulations to your well-deserved success. Congratulations. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. We are so happy to share the excitement of your graduation day and so very proud of you too. Today is your great day to celebrate with your families and friends. 
we know that we have been waiting for this day, the commencement. Marking not only the end, but also the beginning of your life long and deeper. Commencement means also different things to you. It is a waiting to get out of college and go on with your career aspiring for a higher level of professionalism. To some, it is a welcome relief from books, researches, library, and so forth. And finally achieving the result of all those sleepless stuffing in those nights. To others, it is a last part accompanied with nostalgia as you look back on good times and friends you have been. The diploma you will be receiving today is your insurance policy, paid in full over the past four years. The value of that policy depends on how you put into your education and what you will do with it as you go along. Take advantage of what your diploma offers. Your diploma is also your passport to fly high on your profession and gain higher earnings too. The first milestone has been achieved. It's time to spread your wings and fly up in the sky and never stop at anything. Your degree is not just a piece of paper. It is the set of wings that will help you fly away and burst out of the horizon into a new world called your life. You have reached a step closer to your goals now. Now that you have earned your passport, you sit well. However, just a piece of advice. When you fly high, leave the Mariana habit. Leave the Venus Kubon attitude. And do not be a mandito matuturo so you can move forward with flying colors. Do not let these attitudes be a barrier to your flight. The satisfaction derived from your chosen career will depend on your attitude toward it. Again, Congratulations to each and every one of you, and I am wishing you a first good luck on your future. Good day to you all. This moment in time has been one of the great challenges in the history of humanity. This virus not only ravaged our body with life-threatening symptoms, it revealed a social contagion of complacency, isolation, and neglect. It has brought us grief, depression, resentment, and indignation. It also taught us to survive, to live, and to bring hope to people. We become aware of the tenacity of the human spirit and appreciate the marvels that we achieve in times of utter darkness and chaos. Dear graduates, you are our legacy. You are the marvels that we will bring forth to the world and change it in ways that can make humanity leap forward. Be proud for your hard work. Rewarded you with a purpose to bring hope to our country and to the world. On behalf of all of us in the faculty of the College of Medical Radiation Technology, congratulations on earning your degree. We couldn't be more proud of all that you have accomplished. You've also completed an online class in resilience and adaptability amidst the pandemic. I extend a sincere congratulations and best of luck to the college's class of 2021. You have been exceptional students of the college. I have no doubt that you will continue to serve as worthy graduates for the college by building upon our reputation for excellence. I believe that graduates of the PCHS College of Medical Radiation Technology are unique in that regardless of your chosen area of practice in the future, all of you have the opportunity to enrich the lives of those around you. As you embark upon and progress through your careers, 
I urge you to always remember why you chose your respective field and the sacrifices that you endured in order to make it happen, to serve communities and improve the quality of life and health of its members with compassion, honesty, and integrity. I would also like to give special thanks to the parents, spouses, children, and friends of our graduates for their patience, understanding, sacrifices, and support, both moral and financial, during these challenging and unprecedented times, but rewarding years of the college. Although your guidance, comfort, and encouragement certainly will continue to be sought and appreciated in the years to come, you can rejoice in the gradual return to normalcy with no more long nights of studying, get-togethers, unattended, and trips untaken. Yet, even more so, you can relish and share the feeling of pride in what you graduate has accomplished and the abundant opportunities ahead. In the coming years, I will ask that you not forget your knowledge, former professors, and fellow future radiologic technologists. I encourage you to not only give back to the college by supporting college activities, programs, and scholarships, but also by keeping us updated on the many achievements you will experience in your careers and personal lives. We will always take great pride in your achievements. Congratulations again to the graduates of our professional BSRT program, your entire DCHS College of Medical Radiation Technology family is very proud of you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. The last year has proven to be a great challenge for all of us, given the uncertainty and trials brought on by the pandemic. Nonetheless, we all persevered. All of your efforts in adjusting to the new normal have been fruitful, for you have made it to this point. Please be proud of yourselves, as it definitely has not been easy. As you go on with your lives after college and take on new challenges and opportunities, remember to do so with determination and grit. You may deal with great uncertainty and conflict, especially given our current circumstances. Regardless, remember to face these uncertainties head on because one day, all your trials will be compensated for with success in full view. I can think of many life lessons that I can share with you, but if I were to choose only one, it would be to always put God above any endeavor, trial, or even success that you will encounter in life. With God at the center of your everyday existence, you can never go wrong. Once again, congratulations to everyone. Warmest congratulations to you and to your outstanding achievement as members of the graduating class of 2019-2020. You have been a truly remarkable class in all endeavors. Today seemed like a distant dream for many of you. But through your own resolve, commitment, and discipline, you are persevered to make your sojourn here at PCHS a life-changing reality, successfully overcoming all obstacles that came your way. You absolutely deserve this honor. I am delighted at the opportunity to celebrate this milestone amidst pandemic. Reflect on your accomplishments and thank all who have been instrumental in helping you achieve this milestone. Now is the right time to pass along words of appreciation to all those who have been influential in this endeavor. Keep in mind that this is not the end of your education. The learning process continues. This is not, but a beginning of another page. In fact, you will be facing more challenges and trials, but I am confident that you have been equipped with the necessary knowledge and skills by your mentors, parents, and guardians. Go ahead and take advantage of your, of your opportunities that do arise and constantly 
upgrade your skill sets with the most relevant knowledge, streams to be able to respond adequately to ever-evolving challenges. And as you go out of our college and move forward to your prospective spheres, I urge you to make an impact, particularly in the lives of marginalized and vulnerable sectors of the society. At this point, may we call on Karen Carillo to lead the Pledge of Loyalty. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. With a solemn sense of responsibility and invoking the aid of the Almighty, I promise to uphold the dignity of the decree to which I have received with an earnest honor to Philippine College of Health Sciences for unselfish service to the nation and to humanity and with prevent consecration to God. Thank you, Ma'am Carillo. And to lead the alumni oath, may we call on Mr. Ernie D. Carido, Dean of the Office of Student Affairs. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, please state your name. As a living part of the Philippine College of Health Sciences Incorporated, will strongly uphold the camaraderie and unity to my fellow alumni. On my honor, I will do my duty to live with noble ideals of my course and my alma mater. So help me God. Thank you, Dean Ernie Carido. Let us listen to the Batch 2021 as they sing their graduation song. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own Through the dark, through the door Through where no one's been before But it feels like home They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me Far away Special things I compile Each one there to make you smile On a rainy day They can say, they can say It all sounds crazy They can say, they can say We've lost our minds I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy Run away to a world that we design Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be A vision of one I see, a million dreams is all it's gonna take. 
Gratitude, we have Caroline Espirante to represent class 2021. To the president and CEO of Philippine College of Health and Sciences, Incorporated, Honorable George C. Cordell, Executive Assistant to the President, Mr. Antonio A. Carino Jr., Executive Vice President, Mrs. Azucena C. Sabado, Associate Dean of Graduate School. Dr. Fed B. Espinosa. Faculty members, to my dissertation advisor, Dr. Luisito C. Carlos. Graduate school staff, my co graduates, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good day. Dr. Buddha once said, Endurance is one of the most difficult disciplines. But it is to the one who endures that the final victory comes. Today is a special day and the most awaited day for those who endured and persevered at the hardship of prayer before entering the pandemic. Despite the fact that it is indeed very hard to study and it took time and effort to finish it, every graduate was able to endure tribulation and demonstrate the remarkable resilience in achieving the same goals. Many of us dream of graduating from our chosen program or course. And finally, this incredible dream of graduating with a postgraduate degree has come to reality. It's our graduation day, a day to be proud of, and a day to celebrate the upsets and success of our perseverance, persistence, determination, and resilience. On behalf of the graduates, it is an honor and privilege to be part of this virtual ceremony to express our gratitude to those who made the difference in our lives. They have been served as our inspirations who provided guidance and professional support while overcoming various challenges that came across during our journey. To the President and CEO of PCHS, Honorable George C. Cordero, thank you for your invaluable contribution to the development of graduate studies at Philippine College of Health and Sciences Incorporated and for your immeasurable efforts and management of the institution. I use to admire my friends and acquaintances who have become successful as educational leaders and managers. I was curious about who and what brought them to this level. And then I found out that they all studied and graduated from this institution. Before the pandemic happened, I worried about the hassle of traveling to Manila every Saturday to attend classes. I was reading when one of my friends told me that the faculty members would be the ones to go to our place. I am very grateful because it's a big help to save time and effort in 
going to fix the chairs. But this were just some of the reasons why I decided to enroll in these teachers. Despite the limits of online teaching, our professors proved the determination in applying various teaching styles and methodologies and making sure this would be to both fun and meaningful ways. Thank you for allowing us to challenge ourselves with problem-solving situations. This strengthened us and helped us to develop our motivation towards learning. You helped us to become more independent learners, which we can pass on to our students. At this juncture, I would like to say many thanks to the following persons who have played a big role in achieving our dream. To Dr. Feb B. Espinosa, Dean Associate of Graduate Studies, who is also one of my inspirations to continue the doctorate program even during the pandemic. She has demonstrated exceptional knowledge, skills, and attitudes in teaching us, which prompted me to finish what I have started. She would always encourage us to pursue our studies and continually express the spirit of undertaking research works. The pandemic did not cease or hinder her from communicating with us. She is always open to our queries. I can say that she is sweet, but a very kind part of educator. Thank you very much, Mom. To Dr. Luisito Sinhagos, my dissertation advisor, for helping, guiding, supporting, and assisting me in preparing my study. Through his expertise, my study was made possible. Many thanks, sir. To the ethics and public division under the leadership of Dr. Daisy Z. Mirana, our OIC Schools Division Superintendent, for her kindness and approval to conduct my study at San Pablo City. To our beloved principal, Dr. Rina M. Lagunas, who has been generous to allow me the time needed to complete my degree. To all our respondents for their cooperation in answering the questionnaires. To my friends and classmates for their unsolicited support and encouragement for me to finish my study. You know who you are. Being together synergizes us and enhances the power of collaboration and our ability to think really. To Professor Julius Nepora, my friend and study buddy, who gave me the idea about my research title and variables in writing my dissertation and helped me fulfill the full paper. Thank you very much for sharing your knowledge with me. I will never forget your efforts, support, and kindness. To my friends and classmates, for their unsolicited support and encouragement for me to finish my study. You know who you are. To all the graduates, the pandemic did not stop us in achieving our goals and being. In spite of multitasking and attending to other personal and social responsibilities in the community, we still made it to the end. Congratulations! That was certainly touching and heartwarming. I am reminded all over again how noble also is teaching, for we are able to mold the minds as well as their hearts. May we now request you to please stand as we sing with pride and honor the PCH has hymn. Citizens of the nation found a home in your bosom, a medical school that is full of love and of Your wonderful. 
soul. You mold character and shape our lives. You nurture hope and fulfill our dreams. Our quest for learning scatters alive. In all we do, we always give our best. BCHS makes the people grow, promotes our science to donation. Our voice has echoed your noble mission all over our blessed country. You hold character and shape our life. You nurture hope and fulfill our dreams. Our quest for learning stands for life. In all we do, we always give our best. BCHS makes the people grow, promotes health, science, to donation. Our voice is echo noble mission all over our blessed country. Our voice has echoed your noble mission all over our blessed country. Wow, that was moving, ladies and gentlemen. Dear graduates, we are proud of you. As a parting shot, graduates, never mind what others do. Do better yourself. Beat your own record from day to day. We are proud to have been part of your lives. We bid you goodbye for the moment and may God bless your journey as you continue your chosen profession. The PSHS door is always open for you and to search what is destined for you. For it has been said that destiny isn't a matter of chance, but it's a matter of choice. The best way to know life is to know many things. Congratulations, Congratulations and God, God bless us all. all.